What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. Tonight is a massive, massive game in the Skybet Championship Playoff semi-finals. It is Aston Villa against Middlesbrough. Uh, it's currently early in the morning, it's only about 10am, but in a few hours time I'm going to be leaving Bristol and leaving for the Midlands to go watch the game. Absolutely buzzing for it. However, before the game, something very, very special just to announce on this video. So this and three other videos throughout May and June are kindly sponsored by OneFootball as I'm taking part in the OneFootball World Cup guide. You'll see a clip now. So hopefully that clip should explain a little bit of what's going on, but we've each been allocated, each of the eight YouTubers that are involved in this challenge, we've each been allocated a group to focus on for this world, upcoming World Cup. I've been given the group which includes Iceland, Argentina, Nigeria and Croatia. So tonight I'm going to be focusing on Iceland and more importantly, Berke Binjarsson, 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 I think that's how you say his name, um, who's a central midfielder for Aston Villa. I'm hoping he'll play tonight, I don't know if he will. He's kind of a squad player, but here or here there's going to be some clips from the OneFootball app which is going to be going through one Iceland stats and two um, Bjarsson both for Aston Villa and Iceland this season. So included in those stats were the Iceland's road to the World Cup. So obviously we all know the story of Iceland, especially after the 2016 European Championships, which we're not going to talk about. Um, but they've done really, really well in just qualifying for their first ever World Cup. They're the smallest nation, I believe, to ever qualify for a World Cup. And one of the interesting points about their group is, as I've already mentioned, they have Croatia, who they met in the qualifiers. They topped their group with seven wins and two losses and a draw. So, yeah, they didn't even need the playoffs to qualify. They've absolutely smashed the group, the qualifying group, to get through to their first ever World Cup. And I think we're all looking forward to seeing them, and especially their supporters, at this season's World Cup with their fine, famous Viking clap. So, yeah. That's the information for the World Cup guide. Be sure to check out the following video, which is going to be Visitor's video tomorrow. I will leave a link in the description below. One to one football, two to Visitor's video for tomorrow, and three the playlist for all of the World Cup videos that are coming up over the next month or so. So, yeah, let's head off to Villa Park.
corner.
So guys, I hope you did enjoy that match day experience from Villa Park. It was a fantastic atmosphere tonight. Shame it was a nil-nil, but to be honest, with the game it was, it was always going to be a nil-nil. So as I hope you've enjoyed. If you could hit the like button, that would be fantastic. If we could hit 200 likes on this video, that would be great. Don't forget to check out Ellis's link in the description, not Viz's, and all the other links in the description for the World Cup guide and one football. Massive thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next weekend at some point. Take care. Bye.